For this easy craft, you will need a treasure box, a scrap piece of wood, a wooden cabinet, wood glue, scissors, three drawer pulls, cup hooks, a miniature screwdriver, a candy jar, buttons or wooden beads, craft paint, a tape measure, spackle, a computer fan guard, a wooden tag. You're going to first start by taking off the latch on the treasure box. So just unscrew all the tiny screws. Once you've done that, place them in a Ziploc bag. We might need them for a later craft. Then take your treasure box and add spackle to the holes that were left from the screws. My treasure box has tacks in it, so I'm going to remove all the tacks. Once the tacks are out, they have little holes left behind, so I'm going to add spackle to those. I've also added spackle to the divots in the treasure box. I want to even those out as much as possible. Once it dries, you'll sand it even. Now take the cabinet that you got from Hobby Lobby and you're going to remove the front knobs. You're not going to need these unless you want to keep them and paint them a different color. Once they're gone, you're going to spackle it just as before. And now you're going to stack your grill together. So the bottom piece is the cabinet, the middle piece is your spare piece of wood, and then the top piece is your treasure box. This is where you use the wood glue and you glue it all into place and you might need to let it dry for a few hours. Paint it the color of your choice and be sure to cover the glass with tape. Now to make the inside rack for the grill, I measured the inside of the treasure box and I've used toothpicks to create the rack. So measure the toothpicks, mark them, and then cut off the edges. Once you have enough to go across, you are going to glue them to two full-size toothpicks that you haven't cut. This will take patience because it will take a little bit for them to dry, but when they do, they're really sturdy. Once you're done gluing them together and it's completely dry, you're going to take it and paint it silver. And then once it's dry, you can actually glue it into the treasure box into place of where you want it to be. Use the outer toothpicks to add the glue on. That way it's nice and sturdy inside the treasure box. Now you're going to take that miniature candy jar, remove the top, and you're going to paint it a white or a silver color for your propane tank. And you can add a label if you choose. Next, you're going to take the cabinet knobs and you're going to add them to the cabinet and to the treasure box. I wanted mine to match so it looked the same. Now, on the left side of the grill, you're going to add the stove top. So take that square wooden tag, paint it the color of your choice. I chose black so it would contrast the silver. Wood glue it into place. Make sure it's completely dry. And that's where we're going to add our stove top in a minute. While that's drying, we can go ahead and add our cup hooks. I painted mine black and I'm going to add them to the right side of the front of the grill. This way I can hang utensils. Once 
once those are in place, you're going to take your wooden buttons. You can use regular buttons, beads. I chose these. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I painted them black. And then you're just going to glue them into place of where you want your knobs to be for the grill. Take another button and add one to the front of where the stove top will be for that knob. Then you're going to take two of the toy wheels and you're going to add them to one side in the front and the back. And these can also be found at Hobby Lobby. The last piece to add is that computer cooling fan grill. You can either glue it into place or you can screw it down. And you're done. Now it's time for your dolls to have some fun.